This is something that I wanted to say to thank all of you for your support, whether you participate in exhibits, classes, workshops, enjoy attending our receptions, sponsor our community outreach, programming, scholarships, you all allow us to do what we continue to do for the visual arts community. And I want to just thank you for all, uh, for making this your art home. So that comes from my heart. Um, so our submissions and 66 pieces were accepted. A special thank you to the photography committee for all their hours curating the show. Now I am honored to introduce our juror for the show. Deborah Feingold moved to New York City in 1976, where her friendship with a jazz musician inspired her to embrace the spirit of improvisation in her photography and led to her first major assignment, shooting jazz icon Chet Baker. Her work with Baker and other musicians caught the attention of Musician Magazine, who hired her as their New York liaison turning her small apartment into a makeshift studio and freewheeling free it on the streets of New York, Feingold captured indelible images of some of the most legendary names in music, from B.B. King and James Brown to Bono and Madonna. Feingold's unique ability to put her subjects almost immediately at ease engendered the kind of rare moments of honesty and intimacy that became the hallmark of her work. And over the ensuing decades, her photographs would appear in Rolling Stone, Time, Newsweek, and the New York Times, among others, along with countless album and book covers. The portraits in her catalog read like a who's who of cultural icons. President Barack Obama, Mick Jagger, Bill Gates, Tom Wolfe, Prince, Johnny Depp, George Carlin, and many more. But before we give a warm welcome, the Art Guild is lucky enough to have Deb instruct a one-day workshop on May 4th. Spots are limited and they're filling up, so please sign up as soon as possible. And now please give a warm welcome to Deb Feingold. I'm particularly touched that this is a community event. I think that's so important in this day and age. I also want to say that one of the reasons I love photography so much is because I have a camera in front of my face. <laughs> because I am by nature a bit shy, if you will but the camera allowed me something, it, it, it allowed me the opportunity to express myself in a way that I never had before. It gave me a lot of comfort. Back in the day, it was called a hobby. So a hobby was something that you, many of you, younger people don't hear that word that often, but it was something that we did because it made us feel good, whereas Maybe other things didn't so much, but it was a place where we felt very fulfilled. It was very private for the most part. And in some ways, I see that in the work that's here. It's very personal. I can see that to each of you. I think it's wonderful that you meet as a group, that you open it up to the community. And I was really, really thrilled to have the opportunity to see the work. And judging it was the hardest thing to do. <clears throat> What's that expression? There are no losers. Are no losers. <laughs> you know, and it, it was really, and she can be a witness. I, I didn't struggle with it. It was just really overwhelming. The work is absolutely beautiful. I think every one of you deserves an award, which I wish I could give you. <laughs> and I'm just happy to see that this tradition of just doing something that you love, that's personal to you, is carried on. And I'm just really touched by that. We are going to start with high school students. So I think we're going to do Miss America style first. Oh, I don't have class. You don't have to tell me. Okay. Uh, and Deb, if it's okay if you give a couple of words after each. Yeah, and, and I can be available for a slightly longer. Afterwards. Not too long, but. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, so high school, third place, Rachel Lee, Pastel Bubbles. Yay. Is Rachel Lee here? No. Okay. Congratulations, okay. Rachel. Yeah. Second place, Sophie Mink, Glass Notes. Ava 
Lucarelli.